Hey, all right, welcome back to the show. So as you can see on my right here, <laughs> we're now going to talk about games. There has been news in fighting games as far as the games themselves go. Yep, at Tokyo Game Show, Ono said, I have a new announcement for Street Fighter 4, or Ultra Street Fighter 4, and I was like, what the, like, what more could they possibly do? Well, looks like they're releasing something called Omega Mode. Right. For free to everybody. Right. In, this is in version 1.04 patch. Mm -hmm. Which will fix things like DiCaprio and Rolento, some of Ro one of Rolento's accidental nerfs. Right. right. So DiCaprio will get her 42 frame charge time back, I think it is, yeah. And then um, I don't remember what Rolento's accidental nerf was. I, I don't either, but uh, the, so certainly the, the main thing, and also Cody, certainly the main thing is that Omega Mode is going to be in there. This yes. is completely out of the blue as far as I know. I hadn't heard of any rumors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, basically, what it is is the crazy edition. It's like it, rainbow edition it's, almost. Yeah, it's basically it feels like the the versions that everyone makes on the PC when they mod the the game and like make it crazy so you can do special moves in the air right. or whatever like that. It's like Koryu, right? Koryu edition. Yeah, Koryu edition, and looks like they're making their own. Yeah. And and you know what the funny thing is they're doing it a lot with animations that were already in the game that right. were just kind of <laughs> hidden and stuff like right. Ken having crazy kicks. Apparently all the code is in there for him to do it. They just never enabled it in any version or anything like that. So here it is, an Omega mode. He's got crazy kicks into Shippu Jinrai, cat, you know, and right. stuff like that. So so this is this is revealed in a trailer that had Combo Fee narrating where he tries out some different characters. Mm -hmm. He just shows you what they can do, and they can do some crazy stuff. Like Ken has funky kicks. Yeah. Um, didn't he had like something that threw a fireball? Didn't he? That was like something you didn't expect. Like he had a double. His EX was like a double fireball or something yeah, like something that. Like that. Yeah. Um, Guile had his EX Sonic Boom was like seven hits. Oh no! He could like mash it like Charlie, so he could throw multiple. That's what it was. Yeah, okay, yeah. So he could throw multiple EX Sonic Booms. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Uh, so it's just a bunch of crazy stuff, yeah, I guess. Uh -huh. uh, so it'll be really interesting to see how it turns out. They did show also Dalsim, which was the funniest part, because <laughs> <laughs> there's all these crazy things going on, right? Oh, uh -huh. it's so nuts. Look at these weird options Ken has. And then he goes to Dalsim, and he does a drill, and, and, he, and he says something like, Whoa, check this drill out. Like, it's so fast. And it just looked... Like, you would not have been able to tell that it's not a normal <laughs> drill if you hadn't played Dalsim for, like, five years. Yep. <laughs> okay, you, would, you wouldn't be able to tell. It's, like, so minorly sped up. It's that, That's the speed that I thought I was being totally reasonable to ask for right. in Ultra. Uh -huh. Like, if that had happened in Ultra, nobody would have said, Oh, Sim, overpowered, what are they doing? <laughs> Come on. Like, uh -huh. it's just... Anyway, but Sim did have other cool stuff. His dash looked real crazy and... Yeah, so, I mean, we'll see how it, how it turns out. I'm, I'm, yeah, because the, 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 fun, the fun part about it is they don't care about balance, obviously. They're just doing this right. for fun. They're, it's just so people can have a good time with it and stuff like that. Dude, it would be really interesting if it actually turned out to be, like, really balanced and, like, people really liked it. And, right, like, yeah. became the main mode or something That'd be like really that. funny, be yeah. Really, or, or, like, it's, like, so close to being, like, really good that they just tweak a few things to make Omega Mode competitive. <laughs> That'd be rad, man. That'd be awesome. <laughs> awesome. You know you know what else is in the game's code that is not actually in Street Fighter Four. speaking of Ken, mm -hmm. is that Dan had a command grab. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I really hope that happens. Yeah, they'll probably enable that. Hope so. Because it looked like Sagat has Tiger Raid, but it's like manual. It looked like it was like spin kick, kick, spin kick, kick, spin kick, kick, and he does like Tiger Raid was or, it? Oh, wow. or something crazy like that. Yeah, they, they were just, there's just all sorts of craziness in there, and it'd be really funny to see all those, like, because you got to imagine they probably coded a ton of stuff and was like, let's try this out. Uh, this is not good. Let's try this out. And now they're just like, here. <laughs> they just, basically, they... They took all the, got all the extra Lego pieces and just said, here, build a crazy set. Do what you yeah. want to. And you're putting spaceship wings on your pirate ships and stuff right, like yeah, that. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see if anybody really plays it because there has been almost no act, uh, action when it comes to edition select. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's been very, yeah. very little on that front. So, But, yeah. you know, it, that's not so different than the regular game. Right. It's like we've all we've all already played those characters. Mm -hmm. So Omega Mode is seems like it might be nuts enough that you know maybe it'll convince people to actually try it out. Yeah, so. I'm I'm definitely curious. I wanna I wanna play with it. It looks fun. I agree. <laughs> Looking forward to that. So yeah. I think that's sometime in October. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it is that patch is also going to add delayed wake up to training mode, so that'll be nice. Mm. So. Oh, and it says improve the online experience for PC. Yeah. Well, so they already have the beta out right now. Remember, there was a beta that everybody right. could sign in into to play, and so yeah, um, that's probably just going to be officializing that uh, that that fix. Okay. Because okay. I've heard the beta is better. I've heard the beta. I've heard that too. Better. I haven't tried it though. So. Okay. Um, so, uh, what else is going on? I should mention KI Season 2 came out, so that is officially out. Uh, I got a lot of information from people, but apparently if you want TJ Combo before October 15th, then you have to get the, the $40 edition of Season 2. But a TJ Combo, uh, what I heard was, uh, I forgot who told this, someone at the runback told this to me, but apparently TJ Combo is going to be available for everything except for online ranked. Ranked, he's not going to be playable yet because they're still not sure how balanced he is, I guess, and they're going to oh. like test him out for a little bit. Interesting. And then on that date, on I think October 15th, TJ Combo and Maya will be out that day as well, and then they will both become playable on Ranked or something like that. It's kind of like some interesting it's like an thing. open beta sort of thing, temporarily? Or, or maybe they're just doing it because not everybody can get him before October interesting. 15th, so he's not going to be... And That's very interesting, though. Yeah, but apparently there's a lot of new gameplay mechanics, um, recaptures where you can take someone who's in a juggle state right. and put them back on the ground. There's air to air combo breakers now, and I looked through the I looked through the change list. The characters are really different. Like they they mm. actually went to town on something. like Fulgore okay. doesn't even build meter by him. He can't manually build it anymore. Oh really? He just has apparently a generator that spins, so he's constantly building meter. But huh. Depending on moves you do, you start making it spin faster. So then he builds it faster than that. And if you activate instinct, it's like at max speed the whole entire time. Or like, yeah, they did some really interesting. They gave people new moves. Apparently, like Glacius's hail bounces on the floor now, or something really? like that. Yeah. So it sounds like they did a, a, a pretty big number to the to the balance change okay, in cool. this game. So cool. Well, it, yeah. by all accounts, it was pretty well balanced before, right? Yeah. That's yeah. What I, that's what I've yeah, heard. So. Yeah. Hopefully that remains the case. Okay. So, but yeah, definitely check that out if you've got an Xbox One. So, um, there's also been news as far as uh, Guilty Gear Xrd yeah. goes. Um, at TGS, there were some demos of mm -hmm. both Sin and Elfelt. Yes. Yes. Uh, I didn't actually get characters. to see a lot of that. Did you get to see? Some I only of it? saw about a dozen minutes. I okay. would say. So I, I don't know if more was publicly available, but that's all I've seen. Right. It's really interesting because I read that Sin apparently, you know, his mechanic is that he has to eat food. Yeah, the hunger meter thing. Yeah. yeah. So he's got a hunger meter, right? It's like, okay, never mind. It's too easy. Yeah, so, I, I know. I know exactly. Yeah. What uh, yeah. But apparently he has the hunger meter. But the interesting thing is, so basically in the middle of stuff, you've got to keep eating food. And right. while you're eating food, apparently you can cancel specials into specials or whatever. He's Fulgore. Like, he's season one Fulgore. Because that's exactly what Fulgore gets. He wow. cancels specials into specials and he's building pips, right? So... You're totally right. Sin just sounds like he's season one Fulgore. You're, yeah, that seems pretty <laughs> accurate. In, in, in the video, they show, you know, there's the meter down there on the bottom right, uh -huh. and he does a certain special move, and it depletes by some percentage. Look, right. pretty, pretty chunky percentage, yeah, it looked yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, so, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Kind of, uh, <laughs> but Elfelt, think about that. Elfelt looks really interesting. Dude, I, I am... I'm pretty interested in that. Yeah. yeah, as far as the so she has these two modes, right? The, uh -huh. She has I, like shotgun mode, shotgun and rifle mode, mode, and rifle, and then I guess like there's like the just the regular gun or something. It's just like, like you're that. walking around doing right, whatever right. normal. Mm -hmm. um, but when you're in rifle, you get to just like shoot wherever you want. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what it seems. Yeah, you can't move, right. but you're just aiming a a, a, a target reticule right. or something. Right. Like yeah, that. Yeah, you're just. I mean, it seems like it sounds like you're just holding the stick and you just move the stick like it's a little <laughs> mouse yep. to wherever you want to shoot. That's, a, as far as I know, a new thing in fighting games. <laughs> I, I haven't seen that before. ever done that before. Yeah. Outside of, like, Solid Snake Final Smash. Okay, yeah. But that's not quite the same thing because right. you can't hit Snake at all. Right, or like... Uh, like Chris level three. In oh Marvel. yeah, yeah, yeah. But He's, still, you know, that's not, it's not a normal thing. You're, right. you're, that's happening once a game at most. <laughs> Whereas this just seems like you can do it. No, that's that. That's cool. And the the shotgun, you know, much up closer thing. Right. 
I think she looks like a really interesting character. You know what? I, I'm not going to lie. I didn't know she actually attacked you with roses. I think that's why I never got the Guns N' Roses reference. Mm -hmm. I, but then I saw the video and like she literally has a bouquet and she smacks you over the head with it. So, yeah, I think that's why I never caught on to the whole Guns N' Roses. She smacks you over the head with it. That's yeah. fitting, I guess. Yeah, so... Yeah, I don't really care for how she looks. I think she, I think her suit is yeah, kind of stupid. I, I'm, I'm not, I feel that way about like almost all the characters. In that <laughs> game, so I'm not big on her character design, to be yeah. honest with you. But yeah. yeah, but her gameplay looks really, really interesting. Agreed. So, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to knowing more about yeah. that. Cool, cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, we're almost out of time, but just you know, briefly wanted to mention. Smash 4 again. I've been. I finally got the demo with the uh, uh, 3DS and everything. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. I finally got one. <laughs> I got the sick rad skin for it. I'm so. Oh really? So yeah. You so skinned sick. your 3DS? Yeah. Dang! Look at you. It's you're so sorry, all I don't out. Know. Dude, you're you're gonna go grab it. Yeah. You have it with you? Oh, yeah, that's sir. so that's so awesome. All right, let's let's see what his awesome skin is here. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> look at my look at my sick skin. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what Let's is it? What yeah. Is, what is it? I do not consent to the search of this device. Yeah. The EFF. Where did you get this from? I made this. You made it? I check out the inside. Yeah. <laughs> You've really been enjoying Villager, haven't mm -hmm. you? Yeah, yeah, this is like that. He's the only dead I've been playing for a little oh, okay, while. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> anyway. I do not I, consent to the search of this device. Thanks, You EFF. know, that's just going to make people, like, at the airport more suspicious, right? Yeah, what's in this 3DS? Yeah, uh, uh, oh, I don't even need to take it out of my bag, though, right? Yeah, I right? guess it's true. Huh? I guess I've, it's I've true. never had a 3DS before, but I'm pretty yeah, sure I've, I've never had to take it out of my bag, so, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, I have been playing a lot of a Villager. Mm -hmm, I don't have the full game yet, so I can't play against anybody, but right, right, right. Um, I'm really enjoying how he plays. That's cool. Very interesting, That's cool. Uh, very interesting design. Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I saw a, uh, a tournament earlier today from Japan, YouTube video replays, where uh, Grand Finals was Greninja versus Pac-Man. Pac -Man, right? yeah. And uh, the third place match was Duck Hunt against Sheik. <laughs> and then I, I briefly went through the uh, other videos there, and there was a lot of character variety. Oh, that's so awesome. Uh, I'm really that's hoping so awesome. that that's how it, how it stays. Okay, okay, yeah. And, I mean, what's the general buzz about the people who have been playing the Japanese version? Like, I know, like, D1 has a copy of it, right? Because he's yeah. been playing it, I believe. And so, I mean, have a lot of... I, D1 and Prague, I mean, bless their souls, they, they're always arguing, like, you know give this game a chance, it's not Melee, don't expect it to yeah. be Melee, and all this stuff like that. But what have you generally heard from the grapevine? Are, are a lot of people enjoying it? Are a lot of people accepting it? How is it? It seems like there's kind of a big argument about it. I haven't been to Smashboard, well, maybe a couple times, but mostly mm -hmm. to Reddit. And, and there's, you know, there's like the big debate. It's like the same kind of debate that happened when Brawl came out, um, although, I don't know, maybe with more justification. Mm -hmm. But it, it kind of, all, you know, it reminds me of that. Also reminds me of sort of like Third Strike players' hesitance to get into Street Fighter Four because yeah. it's like a very different game, and mm. they were used to this kind of game. And yeah, and I always said that, that you know the, 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 the Smash community, the most similar in traditional 2D fighters has been the Marvel scene, MVC Two to right. MVC Three. That was a huge like there were just people who refused to go to yes. MVC Three. Like guys like Sanford have never touched MVC three. Right. Like he's tried it and he just can't get into it. Right. right. So. Right. Yeah. Right. There's a lot of interesting tech um, that has been coming out for it. That's been found, like the ability to uh, to much more strongly influence where you end up after mm -hmm. a knockback. Yeah. Like like there's that. They call it vectoring, but yeah, I don't know what the official name is. But like literally, you can like hold down or tap down right when you get hit and normally something that would kill you now won't kill you because you're ch changing yeah but but more than that if you if you hold like down right you'll like mm -hmm. move down right from where you otherwise would have ended up if you just picture the knockback having like some normal termination point mm -hmm. you can end up at like any different yeah like the spot. eight points around yeah. it and stuff which like that, seems so. like a cool thing to me but people were mad about it because it's you know it's different it's not it, 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 yeah to. and it might blow up some combos but I mean, whatever. That's we'll see. I mean, people are already so good at adjusting to what people do and blowing up. You know, like oh, he went this way, chase him, doing this. Yeah. Way. And I, it, you know, it just might be a make it even more impressive when you chase someone down successfully. You know what I mean? Yeah, kind of and thing. that would be fine with me. And even if it's not, yeah, I like the neutral game a lot. 
So if that's what the <laughs> game is about, that's cool. Yeah, with that's me. fair. Yeah, if, they, if it's not as much combos and it's more neutral game, well, whatever. Then <laughs> good. Well, it's then that's fine. Thing. Yeah, exactly. It's a different so. thing. But I, I don't know. I guess I kind of feel like almost like I have an advantage when it comes to this because I've moved on to like a billion different games in the past, yeah. whereas like. Melee players just haven't done that. Yeah, yeah. It's, this is like second opportunity, <laughs> and they didn't take the first one. Right, right. So, which is fine. People should play Super Turbo forever, for example. Third Strike 2, whatever the game is, keep playing it. Don't stop playing Melee. But um, I just, I don't know if like that, that like cultural like yeah, uh, ability uh, is there. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, again, I guess we're still trying to find someone who can help us with some Persona Ulti right. Ultra Ultimax, but we still haven't found anyone yet, so... I'm not going to be able to do it this coming Monday. week. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm moving offices. Oh, really? To a considerably nicer place. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah, cool. so that's going to be uh, my nice, Monday nice. and Tuesday and stuff. Oh, okay. Are you going to be able to do Tuesday I should be show? able to make a Tuesday show, okay. but, but okay. we'll see. Okay. All right, sounds good, sounds good. But uh, I guess... Anyway. Oh, shoot. Yeah, so Eugene just brought up the fact that this weekend was also X-Mania Europe. Oh, I don't think I even knew about that. Oh, really? Yeah. You didn't see anything? Do you know who won that tournament? I have no idea who won Player that tournament. Player named Max31. Do you know who he used? Uh, you're being real smug about it, so is it Cammy? He won with Cammy. <laughs> no way, really? He won with Cammy. <laughs> what? Yes, he won with Cammy. No it way. Was pretty, yeah, I mean, it's just like... What the hell? Huh. And uh, I didn't get a chance to see the tournament live. I actually went and watched a bunch of the matches on the archive and stuff. I gotta check it out. He did. I mean, he fought a Zangief in Grand Finals, right? So wow. that was definitely fortunate for him. Like, the two worst characters in that game were in Grand Finals. <laughs> yeah, huh? pretty much. And, uh, like, he fought a Dalsum, so it wasn't terrible okay. for him. But he did beat a Guile. And it was really interesting watching that Guile match. He fought against Chaos Flare, who used Guile. And basically... It looked like Street Fighter 4. 100% looked like Street Fighter. Chaos Flare was just sign up, boom, sign up, boom. Couldn't get in, got him, couldn't get in. Okay. She got one back throw, cross up short in the combo, and he was dizzy, and then killed him. What? Like, I swear it looked just like Street Fighter 4. It was really funny. But um, apparently, um, he, she did fight a boxer at some point. I don't know. I didn't find uh -huh. that match or whatever like that. But, I mean... Does honestly, that match suck? I don't know. Really. It's a pretty bad match. So, I mean, I think... I think uh, was it Honda Osaga are probably like two of her worst matches in the game. DJ is super bad, but okay, but yeah, Cami won. So wow, yeah, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, I know, right? I never, never in my wildest dreams, not even after twenty years of this game's existence, would I have ever thought that would have happened at like that kind of a prestigious event. You know, that's I mean? a high level thing. Yeah, man. exactly. Yeah. So I'm gonna go practice my Cami cross ups now. <laughs> You, you've never done it, right? You're, well, not, you're not a cross-up guy in, in Well, SC. the reason why I didn't is because I my training dummy is always Ryu. I don't know why. I, it's just, just general default is Ryu, right? And someone showed me online, I forgot who it was, but when Kami tries to cross up the Shotos, like she can do it at the exact same distance, at the exact same timing, and randomly sometimes it misses. The short just misses entirely? Yeah, the, 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 the cross-up just doesn't hit. So all my life, practicing cross-up and not being able to get it consistently and thinking her cross-up sucks, might have just been because I was using Ryu as the training dummy. So if I like switch to Guile and actually practice it, maybe I could actually get good at the cross-up. It's not that. hard, because I mean, I, I'm not good with that character, but I can do the cross-up short. Yeah, like yeah. When, I, when, I, when I use her for kicks, mm -hmm. I'm basically just doing cross-up short into like... Crouching medium kick again. That's like my only. <laughs> that's all I do. Dude, and it's so funny too because uh, I was playing Super Turbo uh, this weekend with with Wizard, right? Oh, cool. And um, like I think Cammy Guile is a terrible match because when I fought against Choi, I tried to use Jumping Strong against him, and uh, Choi just does Crouching Fierce at a specific timing that it trades 100 percent of the time. Mm. And I was like, dang it, like I can't win. And, and one time I was playing Guile against Wizard, he was just messing around with Cammy, so I kept trading with his Jumping Strong. So he switched to jumping short randomly, <laughs> and it was like beating my Guile Crouch Fierce. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell, man? This is like the magic button that I've just not used enough or something, dude. It sticks for her whole jump, too. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. She just yeah, jumps sure. the shorts the whole way. So, dude, I'm just going to be jumping short You everywhere. should do it. Yeah, I should yeah. totally do it now. Yeah. So. <laughs> next time we go to Super, let's, uh, let's get some SD in. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. I'm down. So, 
Okay, but yeah, definitely right. cool stuff. X Mania Europe just took place. So. I gotta check the archives. I really didn't know. <laughs> so, cool. Okay, cool. Um, well, I guess that's it. Yeah, and I'm um, sure the show that sucks is already started. Twitch.tv slash iPlayWinner. Again, that's Hanzo Gonzo and Harrison SBA. Definitely go check that out. Go hang out with them for a while and just, you know, shoot the shit with them and uh, have a good time. So. Yep, but I guess that's for us. We are out of here. Boop. All right. Uh, yep. See All ya. right. Peace.